here for the Pistons. Uh, same lineup as the one that they beat the Warriors with, and same lineup here for the Bucks. 5-0, and and the tip goes to Milwaukee. Yeah, the last time we had one of those where does that come from moments was what, back in January. It was here, yeah. yeah. They, they had, what, like, 18 three-point makes this Pistons oh, do there. Sadiq Bey, he was big in that, that win we were addressing last January. Had eight three-pointers in that game. Giannis trying to grab hold of it for the crush. Yeah, Bogdanovich tied for third in the NBA in terms of three-pointers made, trailing Steph Curry and Buddy Heal. Cunningham done all the scoring here so far for Detroit. He's averaging almost 23 a game. In that 6'6", 217-pound frame to shield off Drew Holiday. Drew with that step back three. He had a couple of those against Atlanta on Saturday. Stay aggressive. He left the quadrant. Grayson rips it away. Javon on his right, Giannis on his left, and Grayson will take it right up the middle and finish with the left hand. Yeah, and if you don't get on, you know how it is, your point guard, you don't throw it right away, that, that opening closes up quickly. So it was there momentarily, but I thought by the time he recognized it, it would have been a force. Yeah, true. Here we go. Doing one of those Drew Holiday type shots, type shots, falling out of bounds, baseline, tough angle, and, and he makes it look easy. 13 to 6 advantage, Bogdanovich, the tip is there. Just chilling. <laughs> Played great in that first half. Yes, he did. How about a three? You think he heard mm -hmm. us? Do you think he heard Safe. us? Except the guy seven feet tall. Giannis throws it up with his left hand. Bobby Portis has checked in and already has an and one. Getting the Halloween crowd going here at five, sir. Easy buckets to get him if you've got that kind of a, a mindset and, and, and talent, any talent, really helps your team. Garbage man, no carpets on that. Really electric first step, but the finish out. Zabadu Diallo steps in the passing lane. He's just entered the game, throws it down with authority. Closing out tightly here on Bay. Against Ivy. Up against the league's top shot blocker and gets his two. Good footwork, good finish, good strength by the youngster. Going up against one of the best rim protectors in basketball, with Lopez. Undeterred. I think averaging about 15 points per game. Drew gets another three-pointer. Although now that it probably should be, right? Diallo. Buckets. A lot of the credit for that. Giannis has about two piston defenders. Hawking finds Grayson as the outlet who drills the three. Giannis into the lane, draws contact, off class, counting. Jay Kidd told him that if you if you shoot it short, well, you can never shoot it short if you're aiming for the glass. So he's the first one to kind of shoot or teach him how to shoot off the glass. Percentage of those shots, he took more, but he is really perfected that shot through hard work and this is where he wants to get middle he knows uh, Isaiah Stewart just cannot deal with him at the rim in that game against Atlanta Clint Capella cut him off middle and that's when he spun back spun baseline back, right? beautifully and right. found that angle after that you know he did have a wry smile post game terrific score almost 23 points a game not just a one trick pony three point shooter either he could put it on the floor and uses his wide body to finish well, we're used to seeing Giannis do that Euro step in for 11 points now he can score and, and not only the euro but just his ability to change up his finishes inside slam dunk baseline for Jaden Ivey Bud has said that he's been one of their better practice players trying to give him some opportunities especially Saturday that was a back-to-back -back situation a lot of games here for the Bucks this week is livers but a good move to get there and you got just a just a glimpse of the speed on the push up the floor Ivey lays it off for Stewart That jump hook. Call for three seconds offensively. Two defensive three second calls already. Brooks going up. Take it again, man. Nine points for Brooke Lopez. Well, against the Bucks in the four games that they played last year. Ivy hanging, hoping. That is one athletic move. Jay Ivy's done some things. 
Even on the cut of the single digits, I almost feel like the lead should be more than 10. Yeah, That's kind of what it feels like here in this first half. Drew just waited perfectly to drop it off for Bobby for the easy lane. Well, sometimes the move could just look so unorthodox. That you feel like you got to call something. Cunningham has had himself a first half. This is like, that can't be legal. But... Pistons get the first offensive possession of the second. And finding Stewart set back the other way. Brooke and Giannis both there. Bogdanovich with a three-point look. Jason decides to pull it out. Six to shoot. And the three-point shot throws it right into the arms of Bay. Takes it all the way in and got fouled by Javon Carter. Not a great possession there for the Bucks. Now it's a two-point advantage. It's this Pistons team that beat the Warriors last night. Giannis... Just that long reach can just dump it right into the bucket. Scoring inside against the Pistons, 50% from the field, 38% from the three-point line. Now the confidence is building for this young team. Giannis taking a baseline, lays it up and in. Sadiq Bay still looking for him. <laughs> He's got 17. Moves around here somewhere. Drew takes it away. There he <laughs> Almost knows what the offensive player is going to do before the offensive player. Brooke with the block. And it's a take foul by Drew yeah. leading it yeah. and Giannis finishing it. And that's by design. That sets the Bucks' new scheme defensively. One of the best three point shooters here in the league. Brooke to the offensive rebound. Stop that. Well, here's the deal. So you got to match up Nerland's Noel. Between these two teams, there's some more. Giannis takes it all the way. He falls down to the court after making the lay-in. That does not stop him from trying to contribute to the success of his team tonight. Cunningham, they give him a lane. He flips it up with the left hand. Tough shot off the glass for two. It's the body. Ivy challenging Giannis on that one and drawing the foul on Giannis for the end one. Pistons will be shooting free throws and all fouls for the rest of the quarter now. Giannis lays it up and in, and Giannis has 28 points. Undersides Isaiah Stewart kept floating on that back line defensively. That's where the gravy is for Giannis and the rest of the Bucks. Cunningham, his fourth point of the second half. To Cunningham, who steps back, that's a three attempt. Another opportunity, Stewart with a finish. Yeah, right there, knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. And so they were 0 for 10 alone in the third quarter. And zone you're talking about, Marcus, is just daring to yeah. shoot that three. There's another mid-range jumper for Kate Cunningham. You see how that impacts in the distance. Sometimes that gives a guy some confidence. Carter picked his pocket. And is off and running, lays it up, misses the layup. West can't bring it down. And... The comfort blankets. Wes Matthews and George Hill on the floor here at the same time. And a turnover for the Bucks. 14 now for the game, and it leads to a Bogdanovich lay-in. Two-point game. Detroit was the team with energy. They've continued to be the team with energy. You couple that with the inability to knock down outside shots. There's the first three-point make of the second half. Much needed. Thank you, Drew. Yeah. It's good team defense on the penetration try by Kate coming in. This guy, though. Ivy lays it in. Yes, you know, great offensive talent. Giannis against Bay. Turn around, floats it for two. Another 30 point game for Giannis with 31 tonight. They stand in that zone. It's like a matchup zone. They come together, then they kind of switch. Big stay in, smaller players stay out. Pistons have never led here tonight, but they tie it at 105. Looking to close it out, Drew ties the Tooties! Stone Cold for the holiday season on Halloween! Bogdanovich out of that timeout. Makes the three. It worked. <laughs>